Today we're going to talk about how to solve a system of equations by substituting. So anytime you are given an equation in the form y equals 7x plus 10 and your other equation in your system is in standard form 2x minus 7y equals 24 in this instance you will substitute because what you'll notice is that one of your equations is solved for the variable a variable doesn't matter which one it could be x or y in this case it's solved for y so everywhere that I see y in the second equation I'm going to substitute everything that y equals in the first equation so I'm going to rewrite the second equation as 2x minus 7 times and I'm going to plug in right here what we have up here equals 24. I'm going to substitute what y equals. In this case, y is 7x plus 10. So I've substituted the value of y from the first equation in for the value of y in the second equation. Now, after I do this, I notice that I need to distribute that negative 7 out front to both terms inside parentheses. So I have negative 7 times 7x and negative 7 times 10. And I get 2x minus 49x minus 70 equals 24. Then on the left-hand side, I can combine like terms. I have a positive 2x and a negative 49x. Well, that becomes negative 47x minus 70 equals 24. Then I'm trying to solve for x over here, so I'm going to add 70 to both sides. And I get negative 47x equals 24 plus 70 is 94. Then I want to get rid of this negative 47 in front of x over here. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 47. When I divide on the left by negative 47, I'm left with x. On the right, a positive 94 divided by a negative 47 is going to be negative, And 94 divided by 47 is 2. Because 47 times 2 gives me 94. So I found my x value. That's only half of my answer. I need to take this and plug it back into one of the original equations. Usually on a substitution problem, it is easier to plug in your first value into the equation that is already solved for the variable. So in this case, I'm going to use the equation y equals 7x plus 10. And I'm going to replace the x value this time with negative 2. So 7 times negative 2 is negative 14 and negative 14 plus 10 is negative 4. So my x value of my ordered pair is negative 2 and my y value of my ordered pair is negative 4. So the solution to the system is negative 2, negative 4. Make sure you write it as an ordered pair because remember when we graph these the solution is where the two lines meet. If I were to graph these two lines they meet at this point negative 2, negative 4. Let's do one more example. Example 2, this time they give me the system 4x plus 6y equals 4. And they give me x equals 4. In this case, my equation is solved for x on the second equation. So everywhere that I see an x in the first equation, I'm going to replace it with the value of x in the second equation. In this case, it just happens to be a nice pretty whole number. So all I have to do is plug it in. So I'll have 4 times 4, and this comes from here, plus 6y equals 4. Four times four is 16. So I have 16 plus 6y equals four. Then I'm subtract 16 from both sides because I'm solving for y here. So subtract 16 and I get 6y equals four minus 16, which is negative 12. 
Then I'm going to divide both sides by 6 to get rid of the 6 here. And I have y equals negative 12 divided by a positive 6 is a negative 2. In this instance, I do not need to plug this back into the second equation because the second equation was already solved for x. That tells me that the x value of my ordered pair is 4. That comes directly from the equation that gave me x equals 4. And I solve for y, which is negative 2. So the solution to this system is the answer 4, negative 2.